Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> I don't know. This is getting a little bit ridiculous. I, I think we're past the point where it's a little bit ridiculous. You know, I decided to just take a break from the internet. I'm still on it, of course, but just, like, stop making videos because, like, I hit a massive burnout. I, I just could not make videos. And I'm still struggling to make a freaking video. I'm, I'm trying to make a Sonic Frontiers video that I've been wanting to talk about for a long time, but... I just cannot sit down to make a script. I just can't concentrate anymore. I'm trying to get out of it, but you know. Anyway, regardless. But in this tiny break I'm taking, I realized something. You really can't have any sort of discussion about Sonic. Like, have you seen the latest controversy, quote unquote, we've had? In case you haven't seen, Sonic Frontiers is using the Sonic Forces model. Now, while I don't like the proportions that they used, obviously, it just doesn't look right to me. The way people blew this up, it, it, it didn't even make sense. Like, this should just be something we can just discuss about. Like, oh, I don't like this proportion oh i don't like how the spikes are on this one you know i don't like the middle spike on this we should just be able to talk about this stuff but apparently not apparently this is like a life or death situation you either like or do not like this thing and you're either against sonic the hedgehog if you don't like it or you're with sonic the hedgehog if you like it how did this almost like pretty much turn into a political discussion this is sonic the hedgehog guys we shouldn't be arguing but this pretty much happens every time a sonic game comes out in the pre-release this course I guess you could say we start discussing about our stuff but then somehow it somehow turns toxic and then people start arguing with each other then it's like oh you're either against us and then uh, nah and then it turns into a giant meme to where you're like basically in a captain america civil war where you're one side or the other and then we just forget about it and move on to the next controversy you know how exhausting that is to just go on twitter and just see constant constant arguing from sonic fans like you have the rational ones and then you have the people that just i don't even know man D they just want to start stuff we shouldn't be fighting about ridiculous stuff like a model this should just be a discussion like oh i don't like this for this reason oh i like this for this reason you know like that we shouldn't be like freaking at each other's throats choking each other just because we don't like a certain model and you're completely allowed to like something somebody else hates or dislikes. That's a thing. You can like stuff just like other people can dislike stuff. But you gotta respect each other's side. You can't just crap on people that don't agree. We should be better than this. This is why people make fun of us. And of course, you have the people that are just coming in to shit on everybody because we're Sonic fans, duh. But Sonic fans aren't helping either. We should just be able to talk about our, the stuff we like, the stuff we dislike. And, you know, we can come to a common ground. That's how a discussion is supposed to be. We shouldn't be at each other's throats. It just gets tiring because, you know, you just want to talk to people. You know, you want to see where they're coming from. But then it's like an unstoppable train. You see what's coming ahead, but you can't stop it no matter what you do. It's always going to happen. And that's sad. I want things to be better, man. We should just be able to talk about the stuff we like, we dislike, and all this other stuff without just killing each other over it. I see other fan bases doing that. I don't understand why we're so... Like, look, I even have an example. Like, the FNAF fan base. I made a review on FNAF Security Breach. I've had nothing but, like, the best discussions with people. They're so respectful. I respect them in return. It's a great bonding thing. It, it works. <laughs> These things just work. You know, if, if you don't just go in aggressive, people may want to hear what you have to say. You know, just saying. That's a thing that happens. If we want to change how Sonic Discourse happens on Twitter, or any social media for that matter, we have have to change we have to change how we respond to people otherwise this is just gonna keep repeating itself you know the sonic cycle meme th that was a meme that's still around and that's what people use to describe sonic but it does happen if we want to break that thing we have to be better we have to have mutual respect for one another no matter what the an opinion is not a fact an opinion is just an opinion that's what somebody thinks. That's their own headspace. And no matter what, we have to respect that. And I'm not saying toxic people are going to go away. They're always going to exist. But we can minimize it by being respectful to one another. 
you know i've said it's exhausting over and over again but it really is you want to hope for people to just be able to talk to each other but every time i just log on to twitter and i see something about discussions it's almost impossible to not see at least one argument going on i just hope sonic frontiers can break the cycle but being pessimistic i am not holding my breath for that whatsoever but yeah i hope everybody has a fantastic day if you heard me out thank you i appreciate your time thank you and if you want to say something in the comments go for it i'll try to respond as best as i can i always look at the comments trust me it matters to me what people say so thank you and yeah have a nice day see you later bye bye